No way. After all these months, finally, clear skies. Not a single cloud in the sky. I'm so happy. Hi folks, uh, welcome to Widow's Astro Forum. Yeah, I noticed that Orion is setting pretty early on in the evening sky, in the western evening sky. And that means that it is time for what astrophotographers call galaxy season. So in this video, I'm going to show you my attempt to capture the Pinwheel Galaxy. The Pinwheel Galaxy is a magnificent spiral arm galaxy, about 21 million light years from Earth. And I also want to discuss one main issue I'm dealing with, and that is light pollution. Right guys, I'm tracking the Pinwheel Galaxy and I'm just so happy that after three straight months of clouds, we finally have some clear skies again in the Netherlands. Now, I'm experiencing a little bit of trailing, so I have to check what that is. I think it might be the little guide scope that is out of alignment with my main scope. And I also have to clean my, my filters at some point, obviously. But anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. This is my sequence. So. Despite the light pollution in my city, I decided to capture the Pinwheel Galaxy using my RGB, so my red, green and blue, and also my luminance broadband filters without any light pollution filter. And I'm also capturing the galaxy in hydrogen alpha to get the hydrogen rich clouds in the Pinwheel Galaxy. And I'm planning to take about 35 pictures, 5 minutes each. So my guiding looks pretty decent. The multi-star guiding option in PhD2 does really help to improve my guiding. And right now I'm at about 0.4 for both RA and DEC. So yeah, that's actually enough for me as I am, my imaging scale is about 0.6 arc seconds per pixel. So hi folks, we are here in Pix Inside and I don't want to hold anything back so I wanted to share the results I got using broadband filters from a light polluted backyard. Um, and just let me start by showing you the stacked pictures. So this is the red stack of the Pinwheel Galaxy. So we are looking at pictures I took using my red broadband filter. Um, so these are about 30 pictures, five minutes each stacked together. And of course, I was happy to see the Pinwheel Galaxy in there, so that's pretty good. But also you can see a lot of color gradients in the background, so that's not good. But uh, unfortunately, this is what you get when imaging, when taking long exposures in a light polluted city. Um, so here's another example of my green stacked picture. Again, Pinwheel Galaxy looks pretty good, but you can see all the color gradients. And by the way, this is after I try to do some dynamic background extraction, some background neutralization and so on. So, um, the blue was even worse. <laughs> and the luminance as well. So, picking up a lot of color gradients from my, my city. And this is the H Alpha Pictures tag. Now, all of these tags are about 30 pictures, five minute exposures each. So what I ended up doing is actually using Starnet++ um, to create a star mask. So let me show you the star mask here. So this is basically the picture, the RGB, so the, the, the color integrated picture 
um, but only the stars in that picture. So without the galaxy. And as you can see, the, the background here is completely black. It's completely washed out of any kind of color gradients you might have from the city center. Um, and let me also show you my starless picture, this one. So I created the starless picture of the pinwheel galaxy. So you can see again that I tried to really pull out the pinwheel galaxy, maybe a little bit too much here. <laughs> Um, and my background is almost completely black. So in an ideal situ situation, you would go to yeah, a dark sky location, of course, and to take pictures of the pinwheel galaxy and also capture maybe some other nice uh, objects in the background. But in the city center, I don't think that's really possible, even when using a light pollution filter. Anyway, these are just my thoughts and I came up with this picture. Now, and of course I reintegrated the star mask with the pinwheel galaxy to create this final image. So I am particularly, I'm showing you this because I'm also interested in hearing your opinion, your ideas about how to take uh, pictures of broadband targets, broadband deep space targets like the Pinwheel Galaxy or other galaxies from the city center. Of course, the best thing to do is to leave uh, the city center and visit the dark sky location. But if you're not able to, uh, for instance, in my case, I have to cook dinner for my family. And then after, <laughs> um, I can spend a couple of hours in my backyard to take a picture of a galaxy. And this is the best result I could come up with. So anyway, let me hear your let me hear you your opinion, uh, thoughts, or ideas. Let's leave your comments in the comment section below if you have any. Uh, thank you for your suggestions, and let me show you that final image again. Clear skies. I found that photo in the sofa And it's from way back in the one So I guess there's much I never told you Like who I am, who I love Where I've been and where I came from Grew up on 913 of Blue Rock Memories of six kids running around those halls Then out in the California sunshine We wore no shoes through alley-oops And shattered windows throwing baseballs 